Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, galactic navigators of the new golden age of the Aquarian timeline. We had a massive activation today on the Ring of Fire in East Timor, north of Australia, with a M7.3 earthquake at 825 UTC, coming in at 166 kilometers depth. Those that have followed our Gnosis and teachings for some time know that 73 is symbolic code of heaven and 37 symbolizes earth, the mirror of each other. 73 into the 37 is synchronic of heaven upon earth. It is a 1010 portal. Yang Yin Yang Yin, the divine union of duality into one pure state of consciousness. This is a journey within as we inch our way closer and closer to zero point center, triggering the full compression breakthrough. The deeper you go within, the higher you flow above the matrix of Maya illusion and separation. As we walk further along the pathless path, we realize we never left source. The delusion was that we separated from God Creator, but in truth one can never really separate from love. We can create a seeming separation with the mind. Jupiter also enters Pisces today to activate deep healing, abundance, and to help usher in the new golden age of peace and prosperity for all. This is a very auspicious alignment, and they will dance together through the heavens until May 10, 2022, which just happens to be Mother's Day for our Mayan people. The Divine Goddess is with us to assist in bringing our heart's visions into fruition. The galactic signature on the Mayan calendar for today is Keen 120, Yellow Electric Sun. Solaris, our holy projector in the celestial heavens, continues to pulse magical light down upon us. With these powerful energetics flowing in, we had an amplitude 15 hertz resonance appearing on the Schumann charts. With this powerful activation, you may feel this in your thymus gland, or what we call the higher heart chakra. You might feel a pressure in the chest, a great opening, or an expansion, or an intense release followed by great tears or laughter. These activations and releases manifest in many different ways. Whatever serves you the best in this now. The healing waters of the Divine Feminine flow through our veins and the life force of the Great Spirit through our channels and meridians for the greatest transformation in eternity. We are at Heaven's gates. Now we walk through in this blessed harmonic convergence. The light sings our praise. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. Thank you for joining us today. We have many powerful transmissions for you today, so be sure to stick around to the very end. And if you could please do us a favor, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and share this video with all your teams, tribes, and groups all over Pachamama to get our messages, our gnosis, our energetics out to more of our team of the 144. And now with these massive intense energies coming in, we had many activations all over Pachamama with 126 M1.5 or greater earthquakes in the last 24 hours. In the last 7 days we had 881. The most powerful today, as we had already mentioned, the 7.3 East Timor just north of Australia. 7.6 degrees south of zero point, the equator, at 1825 UTC, 166 kilometers depth. And of course, in these final days of the old false matrix, the code of our 73 heaven upon earth. Earlier today in the sacred portal, Pakistan, with a 4.4 divine 44, Crete, Greece, we had a powerful 5.7, Philippines, 4.5, Russia, Dagestan, 4.5, Aleutian Island in the crown of Lemuria, 5.0, Chile, South America, San Pedro de Atacama, Andes Mountains, home of our sacred condors, Kundalini Pachamama, 4.5, Council of Nine coming in, 143 kilometer depth, Near Islands, Aleutian Islands, also crown activation of Lemuria, 4.4, 4. 
Divine 44, 88 Portal, Japan, Itsu Islands 46, Fiji 46, another 1010 code, 544 kilometer depth, very deep, and at the very top of the map, north of Severnaya Zemnaya, close, very close to the North Pole, the higher crown chakra, we had a 4.913 Divine Goddess. Some people call this the last place on earth. Or what I call where the sidewalk ends. You got it. Northwest of Kuril Islands, 4.7, 404 kilometer depth, 444 code. Northern California, 3.6, another Council of Nine activation. Indonesia, 4.3, Aleutian Islands, 4.5, Crete, Greece, 5.1. Okinawa, Japan, we had two powerful activations, 4.5 and 4.8. Kodiak Station, Alaska, 3.6. Then the most powerful, East Timor with the 7.3. East Timor, multiple activations after this. Aftershocks, 4.9, 4.6, 4.9. thirteens of the Divine Goddess, 169 kilometer depth. Loving New Mexico, 3.4. Gansu, Qinghai, border, China, 5-0, Vanuatu, 4-4, Puerto Rico, 3-3, 33, Divine Mastery, New Atlantis Energy, Aleutian Islands, 4-4, East Timor, another activation, 4.3, Crete, Greece, another 4-2 activation, South of Fiji, 4-8, very deep, 591 kilometer, Central Alaska, 3.3, 33 of divinity master numbers one after another crown activation of lemuria today is the new earth energies pulsing in continuously through the crown chakra hormozgan iran 4.2 indonesia 4.3 again today the whole ring of fire totally lit up and activated the grid lines being cleared purged the dragon lines flow freely with the heavenly chi the sacred energy. This is connected to the red dragon queen, the dragon nation, assisting us in this great purification, transmutation, transfiguration from the old earth to the new earth, from the false duality to the true unity. And now the Sabian symbols for today. Right now the moon is at 18 degrees, 4 minutes Scorpio. The sun is at 8 degrees, 40 minutes Capricorn. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 9 degrees Capricorn. An angel carrying a harp. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 19 degrees Scorpio. A parrot listening and then talking repeats a conversation he has overheard. From astrologyweekly.com And now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the oracle deck Beyond Lemoria. From Izzy Ivy, the card she picked for you today, card 45, Council of Nine Energy, Starseed Elemental, children as teachers, fun, lightheartedness, joy, laughter, newly incarnated souls, the child within, maintaining an inquisitive perspective, wonder and imagination. Being with children can be a great way to recapture wonder, innocence, unapologetic truth and wisdom. Their realities are not yet muddied by shoulds or cannots, and their imaginations are often so wild and creative that they can be our bigger inspirers. Furthermore, as their incarnation from pure spirit is more recent, they are still aware of energy and have a natural psychic awareness. Sometimes adulting can become too serious. When this happens, bringing a childlike, light-hearted sense of play to your perspective can be the most productive way to rebalance. Facing challenging circumstances with inquisitiveness can bring joy to whatever we are accomplishing. Imagine stepping into a child's shoes and seeing how they perceive the world. If you have a problem, consider how a child might solve it. Think back to when you were little and what you loved to do. Remember how the world felt around you and how magical and mysterious things may have been? What has changed? What would you tell the seven-year-old you? The little people of today will be the inventors, creators, and leaders of tomorrow. How can we help nourish their big souls to ready them for an optimal journey through life? Right now, powerful souls are incarnating on earth to help with the progression of this planet. All children are equally special, 
but some may have different or unique needs due to their more sensitive and energetic natures. The ways children were brought up in previous generations may not be the best options for today. Humans are evolving, and children can be our wisest teachers. May we listen to them with our hearts and let their ways unveil fresh new eyes so we may see a whole new world. Now today from Divine Sister of the Light Lama Tsultrim Alion. Happy Dakini Day, everybody. The word for Dakini in Tibetan is Kandro, which means she who moves through space, sometimes called a sky dancer or a sky goer. This refers to the energy that integrates itself with emptiness, not emptiness in the sense of an empty pocket or empty cup, but the emptiness of self or emptiness of ego. It's the feminine energy that penetrates into emptiness, moving through it, a messenger of it. The Dakinis thus become messengers of wisdom, embodiments of wisdom and energies that practitioners could invoke and with whom they could create a positive relationship. From her book, Lama Aleon, Wisdom Rising, Journey into the Mandala of the Empowered Feminine. And very synchronic, 1111 coming in, the image I used on our website for this Dakini, the pixel size 1111 by 1111, a double 1111 portal ushering in the gateway to the new age of Aquarius, the eternal golden age of eternal life and eternal light. Namo Amida Butsu. I'll try to post that image here in this video. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Amjad Abedi. Love yourself and radiate this love. Be a model. Make people want to be like you. You are not here to be right, to annoy others, or to call them fools, for they make other choices than yours. This is the time to stand together. You are here to spread a message of love. That's it. Do not be afraid of the evil that seems to cover the world. It will only last a while. This is the great cleansing. The more visible the evil, the closer the liberation. Dwell in your heart and let the tears in your body transmute all that stands in the way of who you truly are. Without your consent, they cannot do anything. Let them gesticulate, continue serving tea, watching the fireworks. From a limited human perspective, the show is disastrous. Divine eyes, however, see the grand finale, the ascension from the damned worlds to the kingdom of heaven. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Mary Long, the energies feel different. I find myself drifting off to other worlds while staring out the window, as if my body is here but my spirit is elsewhere. When I refer to other worlds, I feel it as alternate realities through all dimensions of this planet. Some are collapsing while new ones are emerging that are at a much higher frequency. As the plasma energy flows through my body, I feel every cell tingling from my crown to the bottom of my feet. Mother Earth feels as if she is preparing herself for a major shift into even a higher dimension than that of the fifth, or it is my own field of energy propelling itself to a higher dimension than the fifth. Everything is changing, loves, and it is not something you can see with the human eye. It must be felt with spirit. But we have to take time to meditate and tune into the frequencies. I will explain more when I find the words to put to it, but right now there is no words that can truly express the difference I am feeling in the energies. The fifth dimension is here, and it is very real if you are ready to accelerate to the higher dimensions consciously and physically. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Judith Kusel, The New Age of Love, as we step from 2022 into the New Age of Love, Know that your heart will be cleaved open more and more so that the power of divine love can enter into the deepest depths of your heart and soul and being. It will feel at times as if you are literally being challenged to keep your heart open. No matter what is seemingly going on in and around you, the power of love is indeed all expanding. The more one tries to shrink away from it, the more one is pulled into a vibrant, loving, all expansive energy force which defeats description. From the more one tries to close the heart out of fear, insecurities, and deep feeling of unworthiness, the more the power of love will lift you way beyond this into the realms of complete oneness and unity such as never experienced before. 
you cannot judge any more, for what you judge in others is all which is not loved within yourself. You cannot separate yourself from any other soul any longer, for indeed love is all-embracing and all-loving, and sees and feels only love. Allow yourself to be cleaved open, to be able to experience ever greater levels of love and being loved, love in all forms and expressions thereof, and this does not just mean so-called romantic love. No, it embraces love in all its omniversal expression and forms. It embraces the whole world and all upon her and within her and expands cosmically. Love never limits. It knows no limitations. It is ever present, ever loving, and ever expanding upon itself. Yes, it takes bravery and courage to have the heart cleaved open. Yes, it takes guts in the deepest sense to dive ever deeper into the oceans and depths of love and to feel that power of love sweeping through you and into all existence, for it sweeps the ego self away until there is only one, one divinity, one love, one heart, one soul, one being. God is pure energy and creative love. The language of the universe is love. The language of the angels is empathy and prophecy. The language of mankind is songs and symbols. The significance of these is dependent on man's ability to manifest love, empathy, and prophecy in the world. If mankind fails to manifest this love, empathy, and prophetic sense, the language of the angels and of the universe will remain hidden, and it is this that causes what we call evil in the world, Lars Mole. We are in a cosmic moment of pure transition from one form of life into another, exalted from, of pure, unconditional love for the divine, the self, and all of creation. The power of love is transformative, transcendent, all-powerful, and all-embracing. Yes, it will cleave you open, and it will show up all within yourself. You have not loved, nor owned within yourself. More than this, where you felt a deep unworthiness to be loved for who and what you are in truth. No matter what you have done or not done, you are worthy of love and the all-embracing divine love, and indeed the power of love within you. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Brothor of the Light Pars Kute, We have been reaching new levels of consciousness through the tragedies and traumas that we have cleared, and we are all making great progress towards the goal of becoming our higher selves. We cannot make a leap in our consciousness evolution from being third dimensional to being fifth dimensional in a lifetime without going through these very unpleasant experiences of reliving and accessing trauma. Now we are all becoming our higher selves in this now moment in oneness with all that is. We are happy to be oneness in joy, peace, health, and abundance for all. It is about the eternal now, presence, loving, forgiving, and giving. It is all about being in oneness and timelessness, fully connected to the divine presence within us in here and now and at all times, within the fifth dimensional consciousness that we are now in, with divine love of one, Pars Kute, and from divine sister of the light, Karen Lithica, Ark of Light, a special light message for you. Like Noah and his ark, how the light keys of your future are encoded within you. It is simply the task of pivoting your desires and levels of high inspirational light towards your future goals. For your higher light achievements are within your melting pot of divine wisdom, awaiting to be birthed in this timeline. See the future and all its magnificence before you, your future self shining brightly on a platform of light. In this moment, feel into this light self and capture the future light code of this moment. See this light code of manifestation before you, for your arc of light is you. Each advanced soul, the healers, the light teachers, the awakeners of your world, your light sanctuary is forever expanding, the light portal of you. To see the importance of you in this moment, in this timeline of great awakening, as the transponders of the higher light codes, each with a specific light code to assist the future light code of the collective. For your arc of light is vibrating specific signals. It is simply tapping into these light signals, anchoring, connecting, expanding into this timeline, as your multidimensional abilities enable this light transmission. Simply awaken to these light signals, the light highway of rapid manifestation and light body upgrades. Be love together in unity, 
the Arcturians, and Karen from KarenLithica.com. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code. Transitioning from hopelessness and difficulties into a happy life and lifestyle continues today. The Most High's commanding ancestral patterns of abandonment and loss of energy, power, and drive comes to an end for yourself and future generations. Things are flipping in your favor today, which is changing the course of your life. You may have been avoiding some truths and sugarcoating messages that have been helping you release some burdens, but the ego wants you to cling to them. The light is shining so bright on the illusions now, revealing logic and facts to accept, even though they may not be what you want. However, you are being set free with the truth and are safe to do so today. There is the bigger picture with all these experiences. Earth school is no joke, but you came here for an important reason. This time you are here with your sword of truth and the empowerment to collapse the matrix, the vision, war, and end separation. Changes are happening today to begin reconciliation and soulmate reconnections. The upcoming Capricorn New Moon is helping bring more honesty and clear thinking for you to set new intentions based on new clairvoyant understanding. The energies are specifically supporting divine unions with your soul match. There is a lot of auspicious energy from the divine behind you, co-creating and collaborating with you. They are cutting the cords to trauma, karma, the ego, and more so you can make free will intentions that are better aligned with the healed self. Being healed, you attract others who also healed themselves and are equally in the light with you. You are being shown the best course of action to move forward on today that supports you staying true to the new you. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you from Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And today from Divine Sister of the Light Nala. Jupiter enters Pisces, December 29, 501 AM CET. Our greater benefic finally arrives home. This time is to stay. After a long ride under the domains of Saturn, he is free, ready to embody and distribute to us all of his highest potential. Jupiter is the planet of expansion, good fortune, healing, and whatever he touches, he humidifies the soil, makes things flow easily. He brings luck and huge opportunities, abundance and prosperity. This planet also helps us to feel good inside our own bodies, leaving behind old limitations and looking forward to the future, believing in the process, finding our greatest source of joy and faith. When Jupiter was in Aquarius, he was obedient to Saturn, and was when we experienced restrictions. We were socially aware and there was a strong community focus, as well as the distribution of information. With all the back and forth retrograde motions, we revisited and had to rethink all those matters as society. Collective anxiety? Yes, I think so too. But there was indeed a big potential for being inventive and an aim at future solutions. But in the middle of this year, Jupiter gave us a taste of his transit in Pisces, where we all experienced a huge collective sense of hope, a sparkle, a vibe. Think back on May through July and reflect on how you were feeling and what was happening. I think that held a big spoiler for what we will experience throughout a big part of 2022. Pisces is Jupiter's transitional realms. In Pisces, we experience a high spiritual connection, a deep sense of empathy and compassion, but also no boundaries or separation. And with Jupiter transiting in this sign, we'll feel very attuned to that. Even Jupiter feels absolutely good here. We can still experience the shadow of this transit, which is losing ourselves in exasperate fantasy, hope, and overindulgence. Especially when Jupiter conjuncts Neptune in April. Too much imagination, hope, and faith, and no action isn't the ideal. Visualize, believe, but know when it's time to act. Let's just open our arms for Jupiter blessings. For those born with Jupiter and Pisces, you can finally enjoy your Jupiter return. From Astro by Nala.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Hair in the Moon Astrology, Wednesday, December 29, 2021. Hope is not about proving anything. It's about choosing to believe this one thing, that love is bigger than any grim, bleak stuff anyone can throw at us, Annie Lamothe. 
Today something big this way comes. Jupiter, two and a half times the mass of all the other planets together, returns to his own sign of Pisces until May 2022. While it won't thaw the hardened ground of the collective wintering brought by the ongoing Saturn and Aquarius transit, Jupiter and Pisces will begin to unfreeze our hearts a little after the bitter astrological cold of 2020 and 2021. Since December 2020, as Jupiter traveled with Saturn and Aquarius, his gifts of faith, hope, and optimism have been in short supply. The long months of restrictions have led to a mental health crisis, where the importance of self-care and wellness has become more urgent than ever. In April 2022, Jupiter will merge with Neptune and Pisces for the first time since 1856, delivering a homecoming of sorts for all Piscean themes. Expect to become drawn to art and music, learning from history, connecting to your ancestors, developing your intuitive gifts, working with your dreams, healing wounds on all levels, taking spiritual pursuits seriously, and being of service in whatever ways are needed. Keep in mind that Jupiter magnifies whichever part of your life it is touching, in this case your early Pisces house. Being impeccable with the truth and transparent in your dealings is the only way to live, as any not-so-desirable habits, patterns, or tendencies will be called out. The shadow side of Jupiter and Pisces is lying and deception, including self-deception, substance abuse, victimhood, martyrdom, hypochondria, depression, intense mood swings, loneliness, and unhelpful escapism. This is a period where we'll all feel more sensitive and thin-skinned, but also highly intuitive. Step up your high heart protection work by practicing radical self-care, befriending yourself in whatever way that looks like for you and asking for help. Jupiter is at the bend square, the nodes of fate, just as they are shifting onto the Taurus-Scorpio axis, creating a bridge between past and present, between the upper and lower worlds of fate and destiny. Let yourself dream large. From here in the moon astrology.co.uk and because of this special auspicious alignment with Jupiter and Pisces, from welcome to the golden page, place a pyramid inside the sun, and Jupiter will exactly fit inside the pyramid's apex. Place a pyramid around the sun, and now the apex will exactly fit Jupiter's rings. Very powerful sacred geometry symbolism the great pyramid slope 51.84 degrees jupiter radius 69911 kilometers the sun radius 695700 kilometers the great spirit speaks in signs symbols synchronicities and sacred geometry and today from divine sister of the light leah white horse Jupiter enters Pisces, Mercury conjunct Venus retrograde in Capricorn, Sun in Capricorn square Chiron in Aries. It's a big day in the cosmos. The entry of Jupiter into Pisces signals a collective shift. When Jupiter moves, there is opportunity for development and growth. Jupiter is the traditional ruler of Pisces, comfortable and at ease in the sign. Working on the high side, this is increased compassion, unity, peace, faith, receptivity, forgiveness. Negatively, Jupiter and Pisces can increase disillusion and escapism, especially with the sun also square to Chiron. The more we focus on our pain, the harder it is to experience life's wonders. Spiritual bypassing can also become a problem. We need to resist the urge to rise above so far that we disconnect and disassociate. Mercury's conjunction to Venus retrograde helps us to ward off negativity. Mental stability and finding our balance will keep us anchored as we navigate the waves. Thank the gods and be open to receive their blessings. Give generously to those in need, time or money. Look for helpers. Dream big but be teachable. Let your intuition take the steering wheel. Journey into inner space. So begins a heroic search for meaning. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time Key 19.2 Numbers define the time we live. Numbers are components of cosmic consciousness. Seek to understand number as frequency. 260 Keys to Synchronitron, a guide to the new mind for people of the future. And today from the Zolkin Times, 
Keen 120, Yellow Electric Sun. Electric is the name for the number three, and its keywords are service, activate, and bond. The third day of a wave spell has a lot of energy and can be electrifying. We are in the white mirror wave spell with its agenda of seeking truth. We can really get going with this mission today. The electrical shock springs us into action. Today is yellow sun, which represents enlightenment, universal fire, and life. So today we activate enlightenment. The sun shines, illuminating our way, which certainly helps in the quest for truth. When the sun reflects in the mirror, however, this can be blinding, so proceed with caution. Can you handle the truth? The guide today is a yellow seed, which symbolizes sowing awareness. This is a very helpful guide for a day such as this. We are on a journey to discover the truth, and the yellow seed leads us to awareness. Expect information to land in your lap, or helpful clues to materialize. To summarize, we are activating enlightenment, guided by becoming aware. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papagiorgio, Yellow Electric Sun, 3, Ahau, Keen, 120, 29th of December, 2021, Seeding, Enlightenment, 29, 12, 2021, equal 11, 3, 5, equal 2, 8, equal 10, equal 1. Day codes, 29, Trials, Spiritual Tests, 11, Portal, Gate, Polarity, 2, Twins, Cooperation, Partner, 10, Manifestation, Authority, Power, 1, New Beginnings, Leader, Original, Month, Year Codes, 12, Acquiring Strength, Wisdom, 3, Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity, Communication, 5, Freedom, Liberation, Change, Transformation, 8, Infinite, Abundant, Source, Flow, Keen 120 equal 3, Holy Trinity Joy, Creativity Union. Today is a very powerful, highly, divinely, electrically charged day. Tremendous solar electric power to charge any battery you need. Day 3 in the white mirror wave spell of reflection, truth, illusion, endlessness, and magnification. Today we shine our mirrors by activating emotional independence guided by the urge to bond and co-create with others in service to the divine tone of creation electric is tone number three in the tone of creation it is the first of the three emotional realm tones its focus is on being of service to others through the action of bonding that is coming together with others to co-create and be of service yesterday's lunar tone polarized our molecule of energy and now the electric tone bonds the two elements together again as one and then activates the energy with a strong electrical charge so we have huge energy to access for our intended purpose electric energy provides the ignition or spark for your manifestation it is a current that needs to keep moving and flowing transmitting energy it also adds power to anything you are creating today an extra electrical boost to draw upon, the power of three is derived from two units merging and creating the third, more powerful entity. This action duplicates the essence of bonding and service that the electric tone provides. Today beckons you to become emotionally mature. Expand your focus from purely bonding with one to the joy of bonding with all. Together with your kin, offer your united energies to be of divine service to humanity. The electric tone coupled with the sun is very highly charged rocket fuel energy, double Tesla power. So take note and use this power wisely today. Beware the emotional triggers and mirror games today as the electric mirror can cause highly charged explosive outbursts. Be prepared to witness and heal whatever the electric mirror reflects. This light is extremely bright today as the electric sun casts a very dark shadow, illumination at its highest voltage. Control that excess fire and channel it into creative pursuits. So blessed be, pure hearts. Make sure you catch some golden sun rays today and focus your intention on directing the solar electrical energy into beneficial pursuits. Enjoy this beautiful sunshiny day feeling deeply through your senses, shining your light as you blossom into your highest potential, bonding with others to co-create our new world. Today's question is how can I activate my divine mission through service with others, enabling me to shine brighter and fully blossom? 
divine blessings for the flowering of beautiful divine partnerships and missions. In la catch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 120, Yellow Electric Sun, the mantra, the code for today is, I activate in order to enlighten. Bonding life, I seal the matrix of universal fire. With the electric tone of service, I am guided by the power of flowering. And on this powerful day of blooming, blossoming, flowering, and awakening, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future transmissions. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. We archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. And I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Brothor of the Light, Darren Dave, for your pledge and support on Patreon. And welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to help support us and help us to be able to continue bringing these transmissions to the world and our teachings, you can make a monthly pledge to our page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light, Terry Berman, for another donation. Thank you very much. We appreciate you and your support. If you'd like to make a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal account at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. And she has a 20% off sale until the 31st, so there's two more days to take advantage of that sale. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful codes from Divine Angel of the Light, Lightworker 4444, Angels of the White Ray. Today, the angels of the white ray are here to cleanse and purify our energy fields of any negativity that may exist. These angels ask you to take a cleansing breath, and as you breathe in, visualize or feel purifying white light entering your body, filling and surrounding you with dazzling white light. As this light fills your energy field, it acts like a magnet, pulling away entered lower frequencies, removing them from your being. On the exhale, see or feel these energies transmute to light. Repeat this breath two more times to maximize the impact. Your energy is now cleansed with the crystalline energy in this light and you feel more free and expansive, empowered to create a life of great beauty, love, and light. The angels of unconditional love are here illuminating all that is of lower energies for us to see in order that we may choose to return to the path of love. They say living in love is our natural state. To first love the self, then one another, is the desire of the Creator. With that, thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Tomorrow is another powerful day in the white mirror wave spell. With Keen 121, Red Self-Existing Dragon, Emish, as we enter fully into the central column in the mirror world, this is the rainbow column, the rainbow bridge, that brings us to zero point at the center, which is Hunabku, Keen 131, Blue Magnetic Monkey. So over the next 10 days, we will be going deeper and deeper within the central channel into the still center, the secret chamber within the queen's heart chamber, the middle within the middle, the total still center, the still white magnetic light at the center of all things, the great central sun that is within you and that is everywhere. So feel into this energy, let go, and keep going through and through and through until total compression breakthrough into freedom, into the land of milk and honey, the paradise, the new Edenic timeline. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. Keep shining your light brightly into the night, illuminating all in your path. Be sure to make this the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.